$2,400 for a $1976 $2 bill. We'll go over three steps in this video. Step one, we'll show you examples of what to look for to determine if your $2 bill is rare or not. Step two, will help you identify the value of your $2 bill so you understand their worth in today's market. And step three, we'll show you how to get expert help to evaluate and or sell your collection for the most money possible if that's what you're looking to do. Let's hop into this video. Up first, we have a little $2 bill that sold for $169. That's a lot of money that someone turned this $2 bill into. Now keep in mind, the U.S. still produces $2 bills today. That's right, a lot of people don't even know that. But you can go to your local bank, get some $2 bills. What we personally like to do is get some $2 bills in our wallet, and we'll spend them at a local grocery store or hand them out as tips, and people usually lose their mind. This example right here is what we call an end-of-roll error. So if you're looking at the left-hand side of the bill, you're going to see this green strip. Now don't think that you can just take a little marker and turn your $2 bill into $169 like this person did, because this came straight from the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing. A company like PMG is going to know exactly if your error is genuine or not. This person was able to turn $2 into $169, $1,380 for this $2 bill. Now, I laugh a little bit because there's a lot of collectors in our Coin Value Club that love bills like this, and this is a really good example. So this 1995 $2 bill got graded by PCGS Banknote at a 66 PPQ. PPQ just means premium paper quality. That means that whoever's buying this bill can know for certain that there are no pinholes, there's no tears, there's no stains, anything bad to the paper quality because paper money collectors really want a premium paper quality banknote and a company like PCGS or PMG guarantee the authenticity and the grade of the banknote. So the reason why this $2 bill sold for $1,380 is because of that fancy serial number. So this is a seven of a kind with sevens. Pretty cool there. So the first digit is a zero and the rest are sevens. Now realize that if the first number was also a seven, this banknote would have been worth a lot more money than $1,380. If you like bankroll hunting, by that I mean going to your local bank, asking for some money, going through it, and then returning it at no cost to you, this is a good one to look out for because someone turned $2 into $1,380. $1,560 for this 2009 $2 bill. Now this is what I was talking about, guys. So you can go to your local bank and ask them if they have any brand new packs of $2 bills. From there, you're going to want to go through it and see if any are worthy of grading. This example has nothing about it that makes it really rare outside of the grade. So you may be asking, how do I get a 70 EPQ grade like this? There's a few things you need to know. First of all, your bill needs to have no folds on it whatsoever. That could mean a fold going down the center of the bill and or fold going through any of the designs. A small corner tip fold can be okay, but you're not going to get the 70 grade with any sort of folds or corner tip folds. The next thing you need to know is that if your bill has no folds on it, then it's eligible to get at least the 60 to 70 grade. Anything below 60 is considered about uncirculated, and it means it has at least one fold on it. So how do you go from the 60 grade all the way to the 70 grade? Grading in the uncirculated grades comes down to the centering of the margins. So if you're looking at the white border on the front and the back of the bill, those are the margins, and the better centered those margins are, the higher the grade you can achieve. It is very, very challenging to get the 70 grade, but this person, who more than likely found that this $2 bill in a bank strap was hunting for $2 bills. They found this one and said, wow, the centering is really nice. Let's get it graded. And they just so happened to get that 70 grade. And that's why it sold for $1,560. Now listen, if you want to learn how to grade your banknotes, we recently updated our completely free coin and currency ebook down below. You can get that. No strings attached. We'll teach you how to grade currency. And there's a ton more information in there about coins and paper money. It's completely free. All you got to do is click on that link down below. And let's hop into this bill that we're talking about here. So this is that $2 bill from 1976 that sold for $2,400. Now I want to show you the back because that's an important area. Now you'll see that number 72 on the back bottom right hand corner of this bill. That is what we call a back plate number. It's pretty much an internal number the Bureau of Engraving and Printing uses to see where this specific bill was located on a printing plate. Now there are some $2 bills out there that are older that do not have a back plate number whatsoever. That can be a rare error. This example does have that back plate number and when you flip it over to the front, you can see that this bill is really beat up. Now earlier, we were telling you about a bill that was a seven of a kind with a bunch of sevens. This example has all eight digits as a seven. Even though this bill is really beat up, it sold for $2,400. Now if the person that owned this $2 bill would have taken better care of it, if they kept it safe in a collection, we can nearly guarantee it would have sold for a lot more money than $2,400. So this bill, as you can see, is in much better condition, and it's a great example because you can see the 
grade as a 63. When we were talking about grades earlier, that one $2 bill that's got the 70 grade had perfect margin centering. You can see here, this banknote has no folds, but the centering is really bad. Look at the left side of the bill, top to bottom. You can see the top margin is really thick and the bottom margin is very thin. That is what we're talking about when it comes to centering. This banknote has the serial number one, which is a very, very hard serial number to achieve. This example sold for $19,200. If you enjoyed this video, it would help us out a ton if you hit that like button. We'll see you in the next video.